Listen, Generation 9 is upon us, Scarlet and Violet is out, and I'm ready to try to get into some competitive. Now, I am not fully knowledgeable on how the Gen 9 meta plays. Um, a lot of the Pokemon are new to me. We're going to be kind of, you know, dipping our toes in and experiencing this together. I've done a few battles. Uh, we're going to be messing around with Joey's Titan team. Shout out to Pokeaim. Um, he did make a video on this team, but just to kind of reiterate a little bit about this team, basically it's revolved around our big round boy here who is Belly Drum. This thing's attack can go absolutely crazy with his Slush Rush ability paired with Slow King and the Chili Recep Reception, uh, which basically makes it snow, not hail. Um, we also am able to get the defense boost from that with the Titan. Other than that, there's some big threats. We got Corviknight, we got Cyclozar um, with the Shed Tail, able to kind of pivot around a little bit. We've got the Golden Boy, Choice Scarf, this thing fast as hell, ability good as gold, immune to status moves, which is insane. And of course, the Claude Zire, because this thing is a legend. But yeah, shout out to Pokegame for the team. Without any further ado, boys, let's just jump into some matches and kind of just see how this goes with the Gen 9 OU. I'm super excited. I think that there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of things about this meta that are going to be super broken. A lot of the Pokemon are crazy as hell. And we've got our first match here. So first of all, we get, you know, crazy Cyborg Tyranitar. And this dude is working with pretty much, like, every threat possible. Even has the, uh, the, the Iron Tread Dawn fan. So, looking at it, I'm just going to lead off with Claude Sire. Why not? Claude Sire, the absolute goat of the generation. He does lead off with the Iron Thorns, which is... Rock Electric Tyranitar. I haven't even gotten to the point in the game, actually, <laughs> where this thing is out. Um, but, you know, Cladsar has a pretty solid matchup. I'm going to set up my Stealth Rock. And looking at the team here, so Titan doesn't have the best potential to sweep, but being able to outspeed plus Earthquake can do a lot to pretty much anything. Also, things like Corviknight are there too. Ooh, he's just going to Terra right from the start. Terra's into Rock type. And goes for the body press. So, okay, that's fine. That's fine, <laughs> fine with me. Uh, I'm imagining a pivot here, so I'm going to go ahead and click Yawn. But Klotzar is so damn bulky. This thing gets the water absorbability, completely erases that weakness to water. And I honestly see this thing definitely sticking around in OU. It's super bulky. You can actually hit pretty hard. You can also work with the defensive uh, Terra type, which is, this one is actually set up to be, I believe, Fairy. So he goes into the Iron iron High Dragon. I don't know. This thing has Quark Drive. I honestly, I have not played against this Mon or even seen what this thing's about. Um, but I honestly don't know. We got a, we got a nice little, uh, little yawn off on it. So I'm totally fine with that. Now, I don't have a good real switch into this thing. I could try to go Corviknight, which depends on what he's going to go for. I'm going to go Corviknight. We are. Um, we're Rocky Helmet. This thing, you can't really set up. You're just going to Dragon Pulse. Does absolutely nothing. Let's go. Corviknight is still out here doing things <laughs> that he should not be doing. This thing does fall asleep, which is pretty nice. I'm expecting a pivot. Now, switching to this is probably going to be the Iron Treads. I might even just double sleep, double switch into Slow King here just from the start. Try to get that hail going. But is it worth? This thing is steel. I don't have... Hmm. don't have the best option with the Titan there. I might even just double switch back into Claude Sire. Hmm. Or he could go Cyclozar and then Shedtail. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into Cyclozar. He does actually end up going into Iron Hands. The greatest names ever in this generation for the new Pokemon. <laughs> the Iron Hands. Um, Hariyama, not a good switch for me. Although I do outspeed. I can go for the Shedtail. So we take half of our maximum HP uh, and then create a substitute. Then I switch out passing the substitute. So this could be a good opportunity to just go for that. Or I could just U-turn. I don't know if I want to waste half my health. I'm actually just going to U-turn here. Let's see what... Uh, old Iron Hands wants to do. Does this thing have access to any priority? I don't know really much about the new Hariyama competitively, so we just get a U-turn off, that's fine. And I'm honestly just going to go right back into Corviknight. Interesting switch into Hariyama here. Just goes for the Drain Punch. That is fine. And now I'm basically... Getting a little bit of damage there. I think I'm just going to click Rayford. Corviknight is an hon honestly a really nice check to a couple of these fellas. This dude is literally made, this guy's team is entirely made of uh, whatever the, these these mods are called. Does this go for the wild charge? Okay, well, that's fine. Now we get a free switch. So Iron Hands giving me the Iron Hands over here. I just go right into Claude Sire and pretty much just click EQ. Look at Claude Sire. He's looking, the, he's looking at us because he knows the boy's photogenic as hell. Goes for the electric terrain. Interesting. 
and that also activates its quark drive so that it raises its physical attack interesting okay well, i still don't think this thing has much interesting to note so titan actually has a move called ice spinner which actually gets rid of terrains so that could come into play i'm clicking eq again here he just goes for the drain punch that is fine and EQ finishes it off. Let's go Claude Sire. He has no answer for the Claude, bro. No answer for the Claude. What's he going to go into here? Really nice to have that thing asleep. Iron Moth potential setup. Fire Poison. I do have the uh, the Stealth Rock up, which is nice. Not super concerned about the terrain. Interested. I guess he just went for the terrain activating Quark Drive. I have no idea. This is literally like an entirely new game. I'm honestly... <laughs> Is competitive in this gen. I feel like a lot of people are going to be using all the new stuff, obviously. I mean, this team that I'm using has a couple old fil old folks, but for the most part, there's so many new broken Pokemon that, like, the ban list has just now started to come out. I think there's only been a few Pokemon banned. I believe the, uh, the like, Ghost Dog had the Last Respects move, which I think you pair that with Stealth Rock, and then if you've lost a couple Pokemon, the base power is insane. So he ends up going into Iron Treads here. Uh, gets that speed boost from the drive. I'm just going to go for an Earthquake again. As he Earthquakes me, we're able to live it. Probably should have conserved this thing a little bit better, but I like the chip on this thing. So with a speed boost, I'm honestly fine with this. I can actually probably... I think I might let Clyde Sire go down. Then I get a free switch and a Slow King. I can then set up the Chili Reception and then see if the Titan can start to do some shit. So I think that's what I'm going to do. He just goes for the Earthquake, finishes me off. That's fine. Now we go into Slow King. I don't know what type of coverage moves this thing might have, but I'm just going to go right for the Chili Reception. With the chip, the Titan should be able to have no problem knocking this thing out. Then it's kind of just worrying about the rest of the Monza they've got over there. Over there. But he's actually going to Rapid Spin. Okay, so gets rid of the rocks, which is annoying. But we do get up the Chili Reception. So I wonder if I can bring in the Titan. Just go right for the Belly Drum, honestly. I think I can live an attack from this thing. I do have Citrus Berry. There's no hazards up. I'm basically coming in for free. And now it's Quark Drive is going to raise this thing. His speed is insane. I'm... Okay. Well, I'm clicking Belly Drum regardless. And let's see if old Circular Boy can make some stuff happen. This is basically what this team is built to do. Uh, I'm not able to weaken it as much as I would like to have early, but... Let's see what... Old Iron Treads decides to go for here. I think I can live any attack this thing wants to go for. I basically get the Belly Drum for free. Then I'm just bulling with the Slush Rush for days. I also have access to the priority with Ice Shard, so I guess we'll see what he wants to go for. Does just go for the Earthquake. That does not even touch me. Look at that physical defense boost because of the hail. You love to see it. Interesting to note, he, did, he was actually faster. Um, but... Belly Drum Ice Shard should still knock this thing out. I'm actually going to Terrastalize, even just turn into Ice Tide. That's just going to double stab. I just go right for the Ice Shard here. And that knocks his ass out. So down goes the tire, and now we're sitting at four to go. Really unfortunate that he did Rapid Spin the Stealth Rock away. But with this thing asleep, it's basically just dependent on anything that can take an attack. So he ends up going into the new Gallade. So this thing does boost its speed. And 364 before I... That thing is uh, going to be able to outspeed, isn't it? That's unfortunate. I do have the Slow King for this. You hate to waste the Titan, honestly. But I wonder if... Golden Boy can finish off the rest. Do I just stay in and go for the Ice Shard at plus 6? Because this thing's speed with... If it's maxed at 364 uh, before that speed boost... Hmm. I'm at 538. I just click Ice Spinner. He protects. Interesting. I assume he would just run max attack and max speed on this thing. I'm just going to click Ice Spinner. Oh, that is my alarm. Spirit Break does nothing, bro. You can't even tie. Why would he. Maybe he expected the switch into. <laughs> Probably expected the switch into Slow King. Let's go. Now he goes into this thing. And it's pretty much GG's, bro. So Titan comes in with the Slush Rush. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. Still have two turns left on the snow. Two Mons left to go. In comes the Iron Moth. Um, 
using all of these Titan Pokemon is an interesting strategy. This thing gets a special attack boost. Um, I do have speed. I just click Earthquake four times a week. Iron Moth has no chance. No shot. It's a Titan making shit happen here. We got lucky on the Gallade play. But in comes Iron Thorns. I just click Iron Ice Spinner. And that's going to knock him out for the end of the game. So Titan did exactly what it was supposed to do for this team. And this boy is too damn strong. <laughs> It's with the belly drum and access to the priority, plus he outspeed everything most of the time. Anyway, let's get it, boys. This is actually, it's a really interesting meta. I think that the start of Generations is really fun. Anyway, next dude here is working with the, we got the Palafin thing, Amoongus, Treads, the weird ostrich thing. This thing has speed boost, I believe, most of the time. Uh, pure psychic type, Orthworm. This thing has Earth Eater ability, which is like water absorb for ground moves, and... A T. So we're gonna lead probably. I think I'm just gonna go Claude Sire, try to get some rocks up. And she just goes Palafin now. This is actually pretty decent for me. Uh, he cannot go for a water move. The best thing this can do is probably like Boom Burst or something. I just get a Stealth Rock up here. Claude Sire is always looking super nice, to be honest. He goes Amoongus. Now, I would prefer to not to be put to sleep, but I don't know what else I would really designate to be put to sleep. So I'm gonna just stay and go for a Yawn. He does actually just put me to sleep. Okay. So that is mostly fine. Um, I might consider going into Slowking here. I can tank pretty much any attack. I could potentially set up to Titan, but it's a little bit early. Now let's see. I could potentially go in Cyclozar, try to Shed Tail, or even just get a U-turn. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go Cyclozar here. I don't imagine he stays in, what does he do? Just goes right for the Giga Drain, okay. So now I could either Shed Tail or U-turn. Shed Tail? Could be really nice, but I also like the knockoff play. What is his answer for Cyclozar? He's probably going to go into Iron Treads here. I'm going to go for a knockoff. He actually just stays in. Okay, get rid of those leftovers. That's fine. Just stays in Sludge Bombs and does get the point. It's poison. Unfortunate. Now a U-turn. Let's see if he decides to stay in. Uh, I am Regenerator, so I will be able to try to get off a... Shed Tail later on. So I get the U-turn, he switches into the Iron Treads. That's fine. Now with this full, I might even just go... I could go back into Claude Sire, because... No, 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 just kidding. Corviknight's probably my best kind of counter to this. I could even start setting up Brave Birds. He doesn't have a strong fire. Or start setting up Bulk Ups. However... Yeah, I'm going Corviknight here. To basically get the best answer for this, although I just can't really touch it. Um, I'm going to go for the Taunt. He just rapid spins. Okay. Now I bulk up. All right, Corviknight. Let's see what you're made of, bro. I have no idea what coverage this thing is going to use. Okay. He actually just switches into Palafin. Um, now I'm wondering if I can take an attack from this thing because being able to get any chip on this is going to be super nice. I wonder what his coverage is. I have no idea the power of Palafin. I'm staying and going for the Brave Bird. He's going to Trastalize into Water type, goes for the Liquidation, able to live it. Look at this fucking weird dolphin thing. Brave Bird happens, able to get a bunch of health from there, plus the Rocky Helmet is nice. Um, I'm honestly fine with him burning this thing because it's... Actually, I might even switch Clodsire here to try to get him going for that again. Although he probably is going to predict that. It's probably worth it for me to just burn Corviknight. I'm going to go for a Rooster just in case. He does Liquidation instead. Okay. Takes the Rocky Helmet, which is fine. Now it's in range to where it's a Titan kills with an Ice Shard. However, Slowking comes in relatively free here. And I'm going to go for the Chili Reception as he switches Amoongus. Perfect. Perfect. Because now Chili Reception both sets up the snow and allows me to switch. So I teleport my ass right into Satitan. And, and at this point, he can't put me to sleep. So I go into this thing. I think I get a free Belly Drum off here, to be honest. This thing can't do shit. I basically just slam the old belly. Activate the Citrus Berry. Four times attack, boys. And he just sludge bombs, which is fine. Does not get the poison. Let's go. So now I just Ice Spinner for tremendous damage. Ain't no Amoongus in the world living that. This thing's at like 1,400 attack. 1,300, which is insane. In comes Palafin. Um, I mean, I outspeed anyway, but I click Ice Shard just because I can. And look at Satitan <laughs> doing it. I loved this Pokemon from the first time I saw it, and I love it now. Okay, so in comes Iron Treads. Um, I just, Ice Spinner should just knock it out, right? I probably, yeah. I was going to say, I can just Terrastalize, but there's no point. 
There's no point. Once I'm set up, you can't do anything. In comes Orthworm. Now, this is where it gets unfortunate. I probably should have chipped this thing a little bit. Actually, good that he just sent out Iron Treads first. However, I think I just Terrestrialize an Iron Spinner. Or Ice Spinner. It's going to do a bunch. I can't Earthquake. I, it's, it, it's so... Like, I want to click Earthquake so bad. But I just go for the Spinner here. It does it over half. Uh, but unfortunately, he's Citrus. Damn. And body, body Press kills me. Okay, so it's the Titan. Did take down a few. He probably did not need to waste his down fan, but you'd love to see it. So now I get a free switch. I can go into. I kind of have to go into this full, I guess. Sloking actually has a pretty decent matchup here. I have to. I would have to um, try to Terra Blast though. Damn, I really wish this thing was not Citrus. I could go into this and try to Focus Blast. But he has the Poltegeist. I don't know if he's going to be expecting that or not. I think I just go sloking here. It's kind of the most, the least useful at this point, and I'm willing to use it on this. Um, I actually cannot test terrestrialize. I, I should not have terrestrialized with the so Titan. Big F's in chat. I'm just gonna click future site. He goes for the shed tail. Unfortunate, and gets a free into Poltegeist. Okay, but I do get, at least get the, I get that off. Now, what is Poltegeist gonna do? Is this thing just gonna, just gonna start smashing? So anyways, I started blasting. Hmm. Can you I see, can you chili reception if the hail is already up? Does not switch out if there are no unfainted party members. Not blocked by protect, not bounceable. Hmm. Well, this pulty guys is a problem. I have the scarf golden boy who can outspeed after a, a shell smash and kill a shadow ball, but I need to break that sub. I go Cyclozar here. I really wish that I had like something to attack that with. He does get the shell smash off. Shedtail just opens up the opportunity to set up because of the free substitute so much, it's insane. 375 speed, this thing's 262 before modifiers. Let's see how this plays out. Probably gonna lose to the teapot, huh? Out of all things, the teapot about to get my ass. I should have considered this a Titan sweep way before realizing that the Earth Earthworm was still a available so i'm able to break the substitute however with the future site so now this opens up this thing to come in and basically just click shadow ball and the special attack on this thing is ridiculous does it oko this is all i can really do i think i just come in i just click shadow ball he actually still had speeds damn big rip big rip all right this thing sweeps the team hate to see it the Clod Sire. Not the Clod Sire, bro. Stored Power Poltegeist is still an absolute unit. Yeah, this thing was definitely faster. I'm stupid. The 262 before two times. I uh, literally could see my stat. All right, whatever. Well, GG's to this dude. GG's, my friend. And let's find ourselves another one, huh? Let's finish strong with the nice solid one here. All right, so this dude does have the starter. He's also got the fake-ass Zapdos and a Farigaraf. You love to see it. Scary new... Scary new uh, pseudo legendary. Let's go. So, no idea what this dude's lead is. I go Claude Sire because I'm thick as shit and I can handle anything. So, he ends up going Excalibur, which is actually scary as hell. And this thing could Dragon Dance. I'm going to click Yawn Turn 1. If this thing wants to. Oh, actually, he's going to switch to Great Tusk. Tusk, okay. That's totally fine. Brings this thing in. Potential to Rapid Spin. I do not want to take an Earthquake. I am just going to go. Corviknight has a great matchup here as he actually ends up switching Frigoraf. Okay, I have not played against a Frigoraf yet. I've not even seen it in the game. So <laughs> this thing, uh, what is this thing gonna do? I have no idea, but I don't think it has too good of a matchup against Corviknight. So I'm fine with this. I'm just gonna smash Brave Bird once, get some chip. What is this draft about to do? It has, it carries the Thunderbolt. Interesting. Okay, so it has the coverage on both Clodsire and Corviknight, and. I think I go Cyclozar here. I'm gonna conserve. Able to take a Thunderbolt nicely. Crit. Hate to see it. However, I can either Shed Tail here, or I just go right for a knockoff. I think I'm gonna click knockoff. This thing was heavy duty boots, as it does have the dazzling gleam. Damn. Okay. Interesting. This thing's got the coverage. All right. So I'm just gonna U-turn out of here. Try to get that Regenerator going. Able to kill the Giraffe, which is nice. But now, so that's one answer to Cloudsire gone. 
think I just go right back into go right back into the sire. I find myself loving staring at this dude's face. So, what is his answer for this thing gonna be? Just decides to go great tusk. I could go back. I could just make the same switch. Go back into Corviknight. Is he likely expect that? Or I could just go slow king. Hmm. So Titan honestly looks really nice if I can get this thing a belly drum up. Let's see. I would like to be able to chilly reception into Cyclozard and then shed tail into the Titan, but I just don't have the health right now. So worry about an earthquake. I think I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go Corviknight again. Safest option. Okay, so he does go for the ground mood. Have headlong rush. That is fine. I could either roost or just go right for the brave bird damage here. He does not have much switches into this, except for the Kilowatt roll. I'm going to Roost. He just stays in body presses, takes that Rocky Helmet damage. Corviknight says, I'm going to take myself a little little rest on the ground. Nice. Kind of expect, still expect, expect his Kilowatt roll to come in. I'm going to... If he goes Kilowatt roll, I can't go into Slow King. But if he stays in, it just goes for another body press, which I doubt he'll do. Slow King comes in and eats that shit up for free, and then I get it. I get some snow up for the Titan. I think I'm just gonna stay in. I'm gonna click Brave Bird. He does just close combat instead. He just wants to wants to get rid of the tusk, huh? Just wants to get rid of the tusk. So I'm able to kill it, but at the price of my Corviknight, so we both go down. Now the good news about that is I get a free switch into something. It's an empty ass battlefield. So I'm thinking I could go Cyclozar, try to get a U-turn, and then at that point I'll be regenerated enough to be able to then shed tail. Or I could go Slow King right now and just straight up go for the chilly reception. He has pretty much nothing other than just the kilowatt troll. I can take care of that. It might even be best for me to just go into Claude. Sorry, he does go into that thing. Okay. As expected, he does not have anything to do against the Sire. So I am going to pretty much just click Yawn. He decides to get the hell out of here. I've heard this thing is really good. Haven't played against it or used it. So Wind Power, Volt Absorb, competitive, interesting Mon. Does go into this. The Yawn is going to happen perfectly. And I am going to set up the Stealth Rock. Limit some switches with the Skeletor Dirge and the Kilo. As now he just goes into Gallade. And I might even just I might even just yawn again, bro. I might even just be the most annoying Claude Sire around. I wouldn't want this thing to set up. I don't know what these things like to do. I also would like some chip. Um I'm gonna click yawn. Goes for the destiny bond, huh? Okay, so he really wants Claude Sire gone. Now I could just go into Golden Boy. Could go slow king. I think I'm just gonna earthquake. Cause back to back Scalibur. I'm really like forcing switches with that yawn. And now with the stealth rock up, he's kind of running out of shit to do. So I click yawn again. And this team is super nice. I've only used it, you know, a few times even before I recorded this video, but it's a very interesting, uh, interesting strategy. And the people can't handle the Claude Sire. The Ice Beam does less than half because Claude Sire is an absolute beast. And I'm now going to Go into Slow King because it's drowsy. It's just probably going to Ice Beam here. I take that easily. I go for Chilling Reception. And once the snow is up, I outspeed everything. And I'm pretty sure we'll be in a decent spot here. Kind of feel like I just have all the momentum here. Oh, ooh, you know, just turn the electric type, huh? I see you. I see you. Still able to bring into Titan. Since he's asleep, this allows me to essentially just get Belly Drum for free. Still no Stealth Rock on his side of the field. I go for the Belly Drum, hope that he stays asleep this turn with the Belly Drum, Ice Shard, and Earthquake combo. Just beats everything. Does stay asleep, and I am faster. I now just go for Earthquake with Joe Electric S. Let's go. The Satitan is a monster, bro. One of the coolest designs, and apparently super good Pokemon, so I'm all about it. What are you going to do? Everybody gangster until the 1300... Physical attack comes out. So he goes Skeledurge now. Is this thing going to have anything to do to me? I am Slush Rush and I Earthquake and you are dead. Go to the greatest starter. However, it can't do, it can't, it can't take an Earthquake from, you know, <laughs> 1300 attack. So this thing really benefits from that defense boost in the snow too. Really cool that they buffed ice types like that. If you weren't aware, uh, I believe I mentioned it earlier, but yeah, with the snow, ice types now get... Uh, a physical defense boost similar to how rock types got the special defense boost. So, super cool. Brings in Kilowattril. Um I mean, this thing cannot really outspeed me. 
do I just ice shard regardless? I'm clicking ice shard anyway. It kills it. There's no way that thing lives. It's a bird. There's no shot. So in comes this thing, and we just ice spinner. Wait. We terrestrialize ice spinner just because I want to turn into double ice boy. So that's going to finish off the match. And GG's. Team working perfectly. So I believe we're going to call it here, but just a little interesting match to kind of dip our toes into the, the new meta. Let me know what you guys thought. I've, um, I'll have i get some more showdown lives going. I'm working on building some actual in-game teams, um, but of course, you know, I'm also having to, you know, play the game first. I'm getting close though. So for now, showdown content, super fun, easy to build teams, and uh, let me know what you think. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.